All right, Jeffy, we're gonna play a game called horse. Without the S? Yeah, so I'm gonna make a shot, and then you have to make my exact same shot, or you get a letter. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shoot it behind my back. Mm. Yay, I made it! Easy, Junior, my turn. Oh, uh, you missed it. Darn it, now I'm a whore! What, no, you only get an H. Oh, okay. Okay, dog, go in there, there you go. Good girl. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was walking over here and this dog started following me. What? Uh, uh, giggity, the pepe. What, a dog? Uh, the pepe. <laughs> it's cute, right? Are you gonna keep it? Uh, no, Junior, it's a stray dog. It might have rabies or something. <gasps> Do you think the dog's good at basketball? What? No, why would the dog be good at basketball? In the movie Air Bud, the dog was good at basketball. That was just a movie. Well, look, well, look he looks like he likes it. Yeah, look, he's sniffing the basketball. He might be good at it. All right, if you think so. All right, let me grab my phone. We're gonna record this dog making a shot. All right, Cody, I'm recording. Pass the ball to the dog. Okay, Junior. Oh my god, he actually made it! Oh, he made it! Oh, wow! Yeah, but actually, no, I don't think he made it. I think I just bounced the ball off his head. What? No, no, the dog made it like Air Bud, and I'm gonna upload it on TikTok and get a billion views. Okay. Come on, ladies, run the play! Come on, do what I told you! Good ball movement! Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah! He missed. He missed a wide open dunk. God, I can't stand it. Big Bird! What's up, coach? What the hell was that? I tried to dunk the ball in the hoop and I missed it. Yeah, no shit. Look, you're 6'9. Start playing like it. I'm sorry, coach. Can I get some Gatorade? No, you don't deserve Gatorade. Now get your ass back out there. All right, coach. Jesus. Okay, let's run another play. Pass the ball! Pass the ball! Dude, I was open! No shit, you're open. Everyone's open. It's practice. Look, guys, the game is in 30 minutes. Pooby, come here. Oh, me, coach? Hey, you wanted to speak to me, coach? Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you. This team sucks. We haven't won a game all year, and if we lose another game, I'm going to be fired as a coach, okay? So I need you to go out there and show this team what teamwork is and maybe make a few shots too, okay? You got it, coach. Uh, could you get off my hand so I can play, though? Oh, yeah, hold on. Ball me. No, 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 no. Oh, Pooby, Pooby, are you okay? No, coach, I broke my ankle. Well, that doesn't look too bad. No, it snapped in half. Oh, damn it, you're our best player. I know, coach, I'm sorry. We're gonna lose that game tonight, and then you're gonna lose your coaching job. No, the hell I'm not. Okay, team, everybody huddle up. All right, team, Pooby's out for the season. I know, he was our best player, and we're 0-10 right now. We suck at the basketball? Yes, you suck at the basketball. But, but coach, it could be worse. We could be 0-11. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna be tonight when we lose and I lose my coaching job. But that's not gonna happen, because we're gonna win. But coach, we got four players, we need five. I, okay, I, I will find us another player, but it doesn't even matter, we're still gonna lose. Uh, excuse me, coach, we're going to lose because we are uh, white skin, not uh, dark complexion, so... Here we do this. But, Th but that's you... true, Coach. We need some flavor. Well, you guys got black jerseys, though. The, this this fabric, not, not skin, no. Huh. I guess you're right. We do need some brothers on the team. Okay, I will go find us a brother. You guys stay here and practice. 9 and 11, you guys are my two tallest players. You're, you're, my, you're my twin towers, okay? I need you guys to stay here and practice dunking. Coach, we're tall like Michael Jordan? Yes, you were tall like Michael Jordan. Just just practice dunking and try not to collapse. Okay. Okay, four and seven. I need you guys to practice your three-point throws. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Ugh, where am I going to find a new player by tonight? Ugh, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and watch some TikToks before I get fired. <gasps> oh, my God. This dog can play basketball like Air Bud, and it's black. <gasps> Team, I'll be right back. All right, guys, what should we name this dog? Uh, how about Albert? No, Cody, we're not naming it Albert and the Chipmunks. That's Alvid and the Chipmunks. Same name, it's still ugly. Listen, you gotta name it a fun dog name, like Barry. Barry? Yeah, like Blackberry, because the dog's black. Hmm. What about Michael Vick? No. Ooh, how about, how about Nighttime? Nighttime? Because the dog is dark, like the nighttime sky. Junior, that sucks. How about Blackie? No. Well, no, no, I meant like Blackie, because he's black, not in a bad way. Well, now that you said that, I can only think of it in a bad way. Well, what about Spanky? <gasps> Ooh. Spanky.
Spanky Munez. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Let's name him Spanky Munez. You like your name, Spanky? Hey, kids. Uh, I saw on TikTok that dog that's good at basketball. Oh, that dog's right here. I recorded the video. Okay, cool. Good shot, I guess. Uh, have you kids seen the movie Air Bud, where the dog plays basketball? Yeah! Well, I think we have a similar situation here with this dog. I think it's good at basketball. Oh, yeah, it's super good at basketball. I mean, it's the next LeBron James. You saw it make that shot. Well, actually, I think I bounced the ball off the dog's head. No, 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 couldn't know what he's talking about. This dog has raw talent. I mean, you saw it make that shot. Well, yeah, that's great, because I have a basketball game coming up in, like, ten minutes, and we lost our best player, so I think I need to borrow this dog. Oh, you can borrow this dog. It'll definitely win the game, just like an Air Bud. Oh, that's great. Come on, dog. Swish. All right, team. I found our newest player. Let me introduce you to Spanky Munez. Uh, coach, that's a cat. Actually, it's a dog. And in my country, dog can actually be wife. Where are you from? I know, I know, it might seem a little crazy, but in the movie Air Bud, the dog actually helped them win the basketball game. And this dog is black like your jerseys, so there should be no confusion about whose team it's on in case the other team has a dog on their team. Now, we don't really have any time to practice with this dog, but trust me, this dog is great. I've seen it in action. Okay, let's play this game. So what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. Hey, guys. Guys, what are you doing? We have a basketball game tonight. What, we do? The game tonight? We got to play. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a basketball game. I totally forgot we're on a basketball team. Man, we play a lot of sports in between videos. But wait, where's Joseph? What, Junior, you don't remember? He got hit by a bus. He broke every bone in his body. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, we have to win tonight's game for him. Yeah. L let's go to the hospital and tell him we're going to win tonight for him. Hi, boys. Is this your little friend? Yeah, how's Joseph doing? Well, as well as someone can do once they've been hit by a bus. He can't talk because his jaw's wired shut, and he can't move because he's in a coma. But he can hear you, I think. Well, Joseph, we're going to win tonight's basketball game for you. Yeah, buddy. Getting hit by a bus is quite easy. Yeah, we're going to win for you, dog. All right, guys. Let's go win this basketball game for Joseph. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the NCAA Basketball Tournament. NCAA stands for... For no cats allowed at all. Fuck! No, I don't have enough players! Big Bird, Big Bird. He's a dog. Moo! Today's matchup is the Pirates versus the Pipsqueaks. Whichever team reaches 10 points first wins. Dip off will start shortly. All right, you bunch of sissies, listen up. My coaching job's on the line tonight. Now, you see how many fans we have? None. Zero, because we suck. That's okay, coach. They would just be a distraction. I hate you. Oh, okay, but if we're going to win, we will at least get one fan, okay? So, there's only one rule tonight. All of you need to pass the ball to Spanky. He is our Kevin Durant, okay? He's going to win this game for us. Everybody got that? Okay, yeah. coach. All right, let's play. Uh, Cody, we're playing the team that took our dog. Well, we're going to win at least one game this season. Wait, dogs can play on the team? Yeah, it's the Air Bud rule. There's no rule that says he can't play basketball. Only cats. Well, let's go play, guys. All right, it's tip-off time. Wait, wait, is that a dog? Time out. Dogs are not allowed to play basketball. Nowhere in the rules does it say a dog can't play basketball. Huh, really? Hmm, I guess that's true. It's only cats. All right, let's play ball. I got the ball! I, I got the ball! I'm wide open, I'm wide open! But, but Coach said to pass it to Spanky. Jesus, can you get the ball? It's just a dog. Well, I didn't know we could grab it! I'm open, I'm open, I'm open! Oh! Oh! Come on, guys! You let him score that fast? Give the ball to Spanky! I got you, Coach! Here you go, Spanky! I got the ball! God damn it, Big Bird, you bounced it over Spanky's head. Give it to him. My bad, coach. I got you this time. I got the ball again. Oh my god, six to zero? Time out, time out. Team, get over here. Okay, team, we are getting our asses kicked out there. We gotta come up with another plan. We give the ball to dog, like you said. Yeah, but Spanky's not the problem. He's a professional. No, I think that maybe Spanky's more of a catch-and-shoot kind of dog. So what you guys need to do is drive the ball down the court, find Spanky open on the arch, and then pass it to Spanky, okay? You got it, coach. All right, let's, let's go. go kick some ass. Let's go. Here you go. Play on. Ooh, you're not gonna make a shot. You're not gonna make a shot. 
Junior, go get the ball! Oh. <laughs> I saved it! Ooh, our ball again! Good hustle, Seven! Good hustle! Pass the ball to Spanky! Pass the ball to Spanky! No, I'm going for it! Oh! Whoa! Let's go! Oh my god, time out, time out! Team, get your ass in here! Coach, coach, I made it. I got two points. Yeah, you made it. You're about to make your way to the bench. Co but coach, I made two points. Yeah, you get two points, but guess who was open for three? Ooh, ooh, Spanky. Yes, that's right, Big Bird, Spanky. But coach, Spanky messed up three times in a row already. No, 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 I will not hear you talk bad about Spanky, okay? Spanky knows what he's doing. Coach, Spanky was laying down. Yeah, well, that's just Spanky's style, okay? Spanky lays on the ground until the other team forgets about him, and then boom, he strikes like a snake, okay? Everybody just give the ball to Spanky. It's not that hard. You got it? Okay. Let's go. Okay, get your ass out there. Here you go, Cody. Here you go, Vanilla B. Get out of my way, dog. Get out of my house! Way to go, Spanky! <laughs> he distracted us so that Big Bird could block her shot. <laughs> and people say this dog can't play basketball. Here you go, Penelope. Pass the ball, Penelope, pass the ball! No, Junior, I got this! Wow, he stole it because you're a girl, you know how to shoot. Shut up, Junior. <laughs> I'm open, I'm open. But Coach said pass to Spanky. I don't care, I'm uh, open. Uh, here you go, Spanky. I can't do this anymore. Damn it, Big Bird. You know you're supposed to set a screen so Spanky can get open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, secret team meeting! Secret team meeting right now! Guys, Spanky sucks at basketball. I agree, dog only good for wife. Yeah, and coach is bonkers for thinking that a dog is gonna win us the game. But coach says pass the ball to Spanky. I know, Big Bird. So, I got an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shots and we're gonna make it look like Spanky's making them. But how we do this? Just follow my lead. Oh great, it's eight to two. What, what the hell are they doing over there? Hey, 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 what are you guys doing over here? Chit-chatting? Well, chit-chatting is not winning, okay? The other team is only one shot away from winning and then I lose a job and you guys are all out on your ass, okay? So get your head in the game and pass the ball to Spanky. All right, coach, we'll pass the ball to Spanky. Let's go, guys. Pass the ball to Spanky, pass the ball to Spanky, right here. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh man, look at Spanky go! Go, Spanky, go! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, you guys just see Spanky hit that layup? I told you Spanky could play basketball! All right, guys, just grab Spanky, make the shot, and Coach will think that Spanky's making it. Who wants Spanky next? Ooh, me, 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 me! All right, here you go. Let's go! Hi, doggy. All right, Patrick, passing the ball. <laughs> Basketball, Junior! Okay. <laughs> Shoot it, Spanky. We can do it. Spanky just hit a three. Go, Spanky, go! Yeah! yeah. Oh, yes. We can actually win now. Thanks to Spanky. Yeah, whatever. Who wants Spanky? Uh, Spanky? Sp Spanky, what are you doing? Sp Spanky? Spanky, get back here! Spanky, no! Uh, guys, what are we gonna do? Spanky just left! Listen, coach, coach, we never need a Spanky in the first place. I know he just left, but it was us making the shots the whole time. Don't try to make me feel better. We can't do it without Spanky. And besides, we don't even have enough players. You're right. If you don't have five players, you're going to have to forfeit. Coach, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to forfeit, guys. You got me, coach. <gasps> Pooby? But your ankle's broken. I can still carry this goddamn team. Yeah! Oh, Got this, go. Lay on. Here you go, Penelope. Give me the else. Hey! <laughs> I don't know who to pass it to. Pass it to Pooby. He's open. <sighs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I don't need no echo in the game. Yeah, we did it. We won. <laughs> game over. The pirate. Wow, guys, we actually just lost, all because of Penelope. No way, Junior, it's not my fault. Guys, we just lost to a dog and somebody with a broken ankle. Well, it's all because of Penelope's fault she kept losing the ball. No, they're grown-ups, Junior. I knew we should have a girl on our team. Ugh. Boobie! Boobie, let's go! 
Yeah. You boys played one hell of a basketball game out there, and I get to keep my job. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Right. That's right. Let's go! That's right. But I'd really just like to thank Spanky. We couldn't have done it without him. Actually, we could have, Coach. It was all us. Well, uh, technically, number seven, we, we were not together as Tim before Dog, but Dog bring us together, and we better as Tim, and we win. Okay, I guess that's right. And I'd especially like to thank you, Pooby. You won this on a broken ankle. You're the goddamn GOAT! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Let's go out and celebrate! I can't believe summer breaks over already. I know, dude. I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's school, and you can't spell school without cool and taking out the H, because otherwise it would just be cahool. Oh, yeah, and I guess you have to take out the S, too. But you can't spell school without the letters in cool. You can't spell your mom without fat. <laughs> you can't! What? No, 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 because the letters F, A, and T don't even show up in your mom. So that shows how much you guys know. This is why you have to go to school. Welcome back, class. Today is the first day of school. And to celebrate, you have a bunch of homework. We have to make up for all that time you had off during summer break. A bunch of homework? Come on, it's the first day of school, teach. Give us a break. Oh, come on, guys. We were just complaining we didn't do anything all summer, but now we have homework. Isn't that exciting? Yippee! Well, I don't want to hear any complaints, class. Two months of no school, you could have forgotten everything you learned last year. So this is going to help you remember. Come on, guys, he's right. Knowledge is power. Dude, flip this desk one more time, please. Hold on, guys. Look at the drawing I just did of the teacher. <laughs> no way, dude. Tiny wee wee. <laughs> That's messed up, Junior! Ooh, let me see, let me see. Pass it to Cody, pass it to Cody. Here, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hey, Cody! What do you have on your desk? Show me! Uh, Junior, take your picture back! It's not my picture. Yeah, that's all you, bro. Yo, oh, guys! Cody, show me that right now! Uh, no, no, nothing. It, 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 it's, it's a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog naked. I'm one of those weird kids. Cody, show me what you have on your desk right now! No, he has a really big dong. I don't think you really want to see Show it. me, Cody! <laughs> You have bunch of homework. I have tiny wee wee. I didn't do it. Junior drew it. I did not draw that. It was Cody. Yeah, Cody did it. Oh no, dude. I am going to tell the principal right now. Well, no, guys, tell the truth. What's wrong, Cody? Stop being a wimp. <laughs> it's the first day of school. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, Cody. The principal is on his way, and I'm gonna show him this. <laughs> Is Joseph okay? Mr. Chu, why did you summon me here from my comfortable office? Cause the student over there in the glasses, his name is Cody, and he drew this. <laughs> Let me get a peek. He drew this? He did. Cody, come here! <laughs> you drew this? No. Don't lie to me, boy! Don't lie to the principal. If you do, you're gonna be expelled. <laughs> okay, fine, I drew it. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you for drawing this? <laughs> I'm gonna answer you to the International Drawing Competition! Wait, what? Yeah! Uh, this drawing is magnificent! It's the best we've ever seen! Mm hmm And we enter one student every year in the International Drawing Competition, but we lose. But you? You have a gift, boy! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I drew that drawing! Stop taking credit for other people's work! You didn't do this! Huh? You're suspended for lying! But you, you're a genius! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game tomorrow! Cause the competition's tomorrow, okay? But, but I didn't draw this! Stop being modest! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game! Chu, I think you found us a winner. I know, my eyes may be slant, but I know good talent when I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm out! Oh, great, Junior. Now I'm entered into some stupid drawing competition, and I don't even know how to draw. I know how to draw. It should be me in that competition. Well, that's what you get for lying, Junior. You should have fessed up in the beginning. Well, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't know I was going to be entered into a competition. Well, seriously, Junior, what are we going to do? Because if I don't win this competition, I'm pretty sure Steinbeck will literally kill me. I mean, just look what he did to Joseph. Yeah, I think Joseph's going to be out for the whole video. Uh, Penelope, can you come back to my house and help me and Cody think of a plan? Uh, okay. 
<sighs> All right, Cody, what's the plan? Well, I suck at drawing, so I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to draw. Oh, don't say that, Cody. I'm sure you're decent at drawing. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. Come on, Cody, show us how you can draw. Show us something. Okay. Um, draw a cat. But a cat, that's that's the one that meows, right? Yeah, draw it. Um, okay, so it's that. What the, the hell? This, this, that's the tail there. What? I got four legs, so that's what those are. And then uh, it's got two ears, right? Two, and then some whiskers, and then there's a little eye. There you go, that's a cat. You suck at drawing, Cody! Yeah, that's horrible, Cody! Oh, yeah, it's not like I just told you that. Okay, no, no, there's no way you can draw in this competition. You're gonna lose! I know. So, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Wait, Junior, you're really good at drawing, right? Uh, it's not like they were just Googling over my drawing saying it was amazing and entered him in a competition. Yeah, I'm good at drawing. Okay, so what if you were to draw for Cody in the competition? How is that even gonna work, Penelope? They're gonna see him drawing. Yeah, like that doesn't make it. Oh, I got an idea! Cody, how many of those ugly blue shirts do you have? I have a whole closet full. Okay, grab me one. Oh, okay. Okay, Junior, I brought you two shirts. And I don't think they look ugly. In fact, I think I look pretty spiffy. What was your idea with the shirts? Me, 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 me. Why did you invite me? Just wait and see what my idea is. Ugh. All right, Cody, what do you think? Junior, this is not gonna work. How is it not gonna work? I'm inside your shirt, my hand's sticking out, I can draw for you, it's gonna work. They're definitely gonna see you sticking out of my back and your legs are very obvious. Look, they're just gonna think you have back problems or like you have a boil on your back. Ugh, Junior, I feel so constricted. I can't even reach my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Junior, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ah, get wrecked, Cody. Junior, she was insulting you. Junior, why don't you just teach Cody how to draw? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, Junior. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just teach you. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll teach you how to draw. <sighs> All right, Cody. Are you ready to learn how to draw like a pro? Please, because I, I need help. Because you're going to learn how to draw a cat for real, not whatever the hell this thing is. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so start off with a medium circle. Um. Man, that's that's pretty big. Uh, draw another medium circle right next to it. Uh, over here? Okay. Uh. Okay, now put dots in between each one. Wait, are you making me draw boobies? What? No, no, these are not boobies. Okay, so now I want you to draw the nose. So you draw like an upside down three leaf clover. What? An upside down three leaf clover, like between the, 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 the booby things. What, like, like? Yes, like, yeah, like that? just like that. Now, now draw a round W connecting to the nose. A round, like, like that? Yeah, like that, like that, okay. Now put dots in between the W. Um, like. Just yeah, dots all over it. All, okay, just a lot of dots. Get a lot of dots. Okay. Now put whiskers. I'll do lines coming out each side. What, um, like, uh, that? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, now do like a little, like, scribbly, like, like, round, like, like, scribbly under circle, like, half circle underneath that for the mouth. Wait, so, like, it, kinda. Now, now, now scribble all the way around it. Uh, scribble all the way around. Doing that. Um, yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Now, now give it two triangle ears. Um, how's that? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Boom! Isn't that a cat? I mean, it's better than what I did. See, look, you're getting better. So if we just do this all night, you'll eventually draw a professional looking cat. I don't think this is gonna work, Junior. I don't think I'm gonna get any better. Oh, no, okay, how about this? During the drawing competition, you have a walkie-talkie earpiece in your ear, and I'll have a walkie-talkie, and I'll tell you exactly how to draw it. But you telling me what to draw isn't gonna help. It's still gonna suck. Well, I just told you how to draw this, and look, that cat looks a lot better than whatever that thing is. I, I mean, I'm not gonna win a competition with this. Okay, you know what, Cody? You suck at drawing. How about that? You what? just suck, and then we're gonna, we're gonna lose. Well, I know. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Wait, I got an idea. What if you call the principal and say that you broke both your hands and you can't draw tomorrow? Wait, yeah, th th that actually could work, because if my hands are broken, I can't draw. Yeah, so call the principal and say you fell off your bike and you broke both your hands and you just can't draw tomorrow. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm calling the principal. It's ringing. Ooh, hot enough in my area, you say? <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, hello? Principal Steinbeck speaking. Uh, uh, it, it, hello, it's me, Cody. Ooh, the young Picasso. How are you, boy? Uh, oh, I was riding my bike home today and I crashed. Do you need another bike? Uh, no, I, I, I crashed and I broke both my hands so I can't draw. Well, well, draw with your toes! I broke all of those too. Listen, boy, we need you for this drawing competition, okay? We have never won and we need to win at least one time. I promised my mom on her deathbed that we would win at least once. And you're gonna win it for us, okay? You ain't, you're gonna win it. Don't screw me over, boy! Oh. Now where are the hot milfs? 
So what do you say? We're good? You don't have to draw in the competition? No, I can't back out. He seems pretty committed. But you broke both your hands! Well, yeah, he didn't really seem to care. What? So you still have to draw? You're gonna lose! I have an idea! Junior, why don't you just dress up like Cody? Like, wear his glasses, his overalls, his bow tie? But yeah, that actually seems like a really good idea. Cody, you really think a girl can come up with a good idea? Well, yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers, not the Wright sisters. Okay, but Amelia Earhart went, went around the world or whatever. And got lost. If a man would have been flying that plane, she wouldn't have gotten lost. Who invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver. Two George Washingtons did two good things. First president and invented peanut butter. How many female presidents are there, Cody? Well, we have a female vice president. <laughs> if the girls get lucky, then she'll take over if the other one dies. Whatever. What'd you say? Just dress up like Cody. Dumb. I know. I got an idea. I can just dress up like Cody. And then they'll think I'm Cody. That's literally what Penelope just said. Oh, Are really? you serious right now? I'm leaving. Every woman says that eventually in every relationship. All right, Cody. I'm going to dress up like you. Okay. All right, Cody. What do you think? Wow, Junior. You look pretty good. I think we might actually pull this off. Yeah, so I'm going to win the drawing competition. And when everyone's screaming, Cody, Cody, I'm going to take these glasses off and this outfit and let them know who really drew that picture. Well, don't do that. When they know you're not me, you might get disqualified or something. Well, I want people to know that I'm good at drawing. You're so stupid. You get all the credit for that dumb drawing, but it was my drawing. But no, no, Junior. It doesn't matter that you're good at drawing, okay? We just need to win this competition. But I want people to know I'm the one that's good at drawing. It doesn't matter, Junior. The most important thing is that we don't get caught. Okay, fine. I'm gonna win. I won't say anything. Hello and welcome to the International Drawing Competition, where drawers from around the world compete to see who's the best. Today we have two brilliant contestants. In this corner, Jacques-Pierre Francois. No, ho, ho. no stupid American can beat me in drawing. He may be in his 40s, but he never graduated the fifth grade. And in this corner, we have Cody Nutkiss. Oh, okay, boy, you better win this competition. The whole school is counting on you to win, plus my dead mom. So you got this, go. Okay, on the count of three, both of you will draw the best dog you can. Whoever draws the best dog wins. A dog? Well, good thing Cody's not really drawing. He only learned how to draw a cat. One, two, three, draw! <laughs> Using a Sharpie, what if you mess up? I never mess up. <laughs> All right, time's up. Stop drawing. It is now time for me to come around and choose a winner. All right, Jockstrap, how does your drawing look? It is not my best work, but it is pretty decent. How about yours? My drawing is the best drawing of a dog this world's ever gonna see, and I'm gonna win this competition. All right, boys, let's see what you did. Check out my drawing. Oh, that's not bad. I like the bark bark. Really lets you know what you're looking at. Yeah, I didn't want you to get confused because I'm really good at drawing cats. So I wanted to make it look like a dog. So I said bark bark so you knew it was a dog. Okay, Jacques, let's see what you did. Jesus Christ, that's the best picture of a dog I've ever seen. Well, the winner for the 20th year in a row, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, is Jacques Pierre Francois. <laughs> I can beat these kids any day, like taking candy from a baby. Oh, that frog-eating Frenchman! He beats us every year! I'm sorry, Principal. I tried to win. I know. You tried real hard, Cody. You're only suspended for two weeks this time. I mean, that is a really good drawing of a dog. I know. Phenomenal. Yeah, we should probably stop letting him compete. This happens every year. It's getting pretty old. You know, people stopped competing because they just don't think they can beat him. I'm sorry, Cody. I tried to win. It's okay, Junior. It was impossible to beat him. But hey, I have no school for the next two weeks since I'm suspended. I'm suspended too! Oh, hey, we can hang out for two weeks. Uh, what? Dude! Oh, hey, Joseph, you're alive! I have a headache. What happened? A door hit you in the head. Oh. Yeah, but something bad happened to me and Cody. Oh, what's wrong, bud? There he goes.
last Oreo. No, I get the last Oreo. No, I get it because my house. Yeah, I don't I don't guys, guys, my parents might be getting divorced, and I've already heard enough yelling today. That's I don't not care. Important. I want the I Oreo. I want the it's Oreo. My Oreo. Give it to my me, Oreo dude. Because... What's going on here? Well, Jeffy, there's only one Oreo left, and I believe it belongs to me because it's my house, and they're my Oreos. No, it doesn't, dude. I'm the guest. I should get the last Oreo. Well, in my opinion, why don't you guys cut it in half, and then you each get a piece? <gasps> Wait, that would be fair. We would both get half the Oreo. Dude, how did you come up with that? Whoa, Jeffy, you're a genius. You should be a lawyer. Really? Yeah, you should take the bar exam and become a lawyer. What's the bar exam? It's a test that you take to become a lawyer, as previously implied. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, Jeffy, you'll be a really good lawyer. All right, Joseph, let's split this Oreo. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Sorry, you'll get in it. Yeah, you, 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 you can't cut it Jesus. into three. You can't cut it in threes. All right, welcome to the Florida State Bar Exam. In order to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. So I have a bunch of candy bars laid out here in front of you, and you have to smell each one and then correctly identify it, because a lawyer needs to have a good sense of smell. Like, you have to be able to smell if somebody's guilty or not, like you smell out a rat, okay? So let's start with an easy one. Smell that. Hershey's. Oh, very good, of course. How about this? Snickers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds like a slur, but let's try this one. Twitch. Okay, okay, that's good. What about this? Finger on my butt. Oh no, Butterfinger. Oh, almost, almost got you there. Okay, let's try this one. Kit Kat. Okay, that's good. Now this one. This one's a hard one. Um, what you call it? Well, okay, that's it. You passed the bar exam. Congratulations, you are now a lawyer. Yay! Hey, Daddy, I'm a lawyer now. I passed the bar exam. But Jeffy, you're too young to drink. What? No, Jeffy, you can't be a lawyer. There's no way you passed the bar exam. Well, I did. I smelled all the candy bars and guessed them correctly. Yeah, your son's a lawyer now. But Jeffy's not smart enough to be a lawyer. Well, he's the first person I've ever met to actually pass the bar exam without even studying. It took me three times. It was that damn whatchamacallit. It just smells like chocolate. Jeffy, why would you want to become a lawyer? Because I want to help people and make a lot of money. Yeah, lawyers get paid, bro. No one's going to hire you to be a lawyer, Jeffy. No one's going to trust you. Well, people have actually been blowing up his phone all day. They saw that commercial he made. What, a commercial? Yeah, look. Hey there! Been in a car accident? Someone shooing you? Got a boo-boo? Well, call Babu Bop Bop and Babu. I don't get paid unless you do. So call us right now. Babu bap bap babu. This message was approved by Jeffy. Babu bap bap babu. Babu bap bap and babu. Attorneys at law, daddy. That's ridiculous. No one's gonna hire you. Well, I actually hired him for my restraining order case later today. A actually, you know what, Jeffy? You have a case coming up. You better get to it. All right. All right, daddy. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm so proud of Jeffy being a big boy lawyer. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jackie Chu, whose Chinese restaurant is in danger of being shut down by the health inspector, who claims that he has been cooking cat and dog and serving it to people as food. Mr. Health Inspector, what have you witnessed in his Chinese restaurant? I witnessed them taking cats and dogs out of cages, cooking them, and then serving them as orange chicken. Good lord! Mr. Chu, these are very serious and gross accusations. What do you have to say about this? I do serve canned dog, but it's delicious. Wow, you just admitted it. Just like that. Okay, well, does your lawyer have anything to say to help you get out of this situation? Yes, Your Honor. My client does serve canned dog, but my question to you... Have you ever tried it? God, no! Cats and dogs are so cute and cuddly, I would never eat them! Never! Your Honor, there's an old saying, don't knock it till you try it. And I believe you should try it before you judge. Hmm, you make a good point. I've never tried it, so I guess I don't actually know what it tastes like. I suppose I can have one piece. Blech. Mr. Chu, you are not guilty. Mm, this is delicious. I must have more. Mr. Health Inspector, you are fired and no longer allowed to inspect food. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Thank you. 
you so much for saving my family's restaurant. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Dang, check out all this moo moo guap guap. Chefy, where'd you get all this moo moo guap guap? <laughs> I won my first case today, Dang, and he was bing bong as fuck. What, Jeff, you actually won a case? Marvin, he passed his bar exam. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, sure do, Dang. And I got another case to get ready for, so let me go ahead and break you off a piece of this bread right here. Give you a few bread crumbs, because you know I got to hook you up because you're my daddy. All right, from here. That's good. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable John Spoobar, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who wants to file a restraining order against his brother Jonathan for trying to hook up with his wife. Brooklyn Guy, tell me what has happened. So, my brother Jonathan is a 30-year-old virgin who still lives with our mom, and he's always hitting on my wife and trying to bang her, so I just want to get a restraining order so he can't come near me or my wife. Very understandable. Jonathan, is any of this true? Well, Brooklyn guy is just jealous because his wife thinks I'm a total hunk. She's always staring at me up and down trying to get a glimpse of my meat whistle. Like, damn, lady, I'm a human too. I have feelings. I'm not just a piece of eye candy you get to suck on. She, my client, is a victim! It's true! Oh, bullshit, Your Honor. Jonathan's lying. No woman is attracted to him. Order, order, order. Everybody settle down. Karen, do you feel like you're in danger of Jonathan? Like maybe he's stalking you or trying to do things to you? Well, he does say a lot of weird things. Yes, Your Honor, she feels afraid. I see. Well, Jonathan, I have no choice but to grant the restraining order, unless your lawyer would like to say anything about this case. Mm. 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 Sorry, Your Honor. I got a booger on my nose. It's a deep booger. Come here, booger. Get out of my nose. No, oh, no, he said booger three times. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me. Imaginary friend Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Go away, I'm in court. Ooh, did you do something bad, huh? Huh? Did you get a DUI? No. Did you rob a bank? No. Did you kill someone? I'm gonna kill you if you don't go away. Oh, come on, Booger guy. You don't mean that. Shut the hell up, Booger! Mr. Guy, who are you talking to? No one, Your Honor. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy. You don't want to tell me about your best pal, Booger? Are you ashamed of me? Yes. Oh, come on! I'm like your hype man. I'm always there saying, you the man! I know, Booger. And then if anyone ever says you're not the man, I say they're wrong, because you're the man! Hey, who's this judge guy? But that's the judge. You want me to go mess with him? No, please don't. I'm gonna go mess with him. No, Booger, don't! Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head talking to you? Your Honor, Brooklyn Guy is clearly insane. He's not mentally stable, and he's making false claims of Jonathan stalking his wife. I am mentally stable. Booger, get away from the judge. Stop trying to give him a wet willy. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head speaking to you? I'm giving him a wet willy, Brooklyn Guy! Yes, Your Honor there is a very annoying ass voice who really needs to shut the hell up. Hey, Brooklyn guy, did you see what I did to that judge? I gave him a wet willy. Yeah, I saw it, booger. Oh, did you like it? Was it funny? Shut the hell up. Oh, that's not very nice, Brooklyn guy. Shut up or I'll kill you. I have heard enough. Mr. Guy, you are clearly mentally unwell, so I will not be granting your restraining order. I will, however, be admitting you to a mental health facility immediately. What? No, a mental health facility? Oh, you think I serve pizza there? My favorite's pepperoni. Shut the fuck up, bugger. Oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? It tastes pretty decent in my hand. Yes, justice is served. And now with Brooklyn guy gone, Karen will be all alone for me to try to bang her. Oh, thank you, Jeffy. You're the best lawyer ever. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Oh, damn, look, I just got back from KFC and look at all these 10 piece chickens I got. Baby, he just won another case. Jeffy, thank you for my new purse. And thanks for my Armani sunglasses. Sure thing, daddy. Yeah, here go another 10 piece for tomorrow. Yeah. Here you go, mommy. You can have you a 10 piece too. No sauce on that bit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Keep winning cases. I'm gonna go shopping. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poobah, and today we will be hearing the case of Tyrone and Judith. Judith wants a divorce from Tyrone because he has been cheating on her. Judith, let's hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, Tyrone just keeps cheating on me over and over again with so many women. I just want to be done. Hmm. Tyrone, what do you have to say? Now listen, everybody owns more than one pair of shoes. You don't just wear the same pair every day. That's me with pussy. I want the house and everything. Nah, ho, I 
pay all the bills so you can have the boy. I don't want the boy. I want the house. Order, order, order. Okay, it sounds like the divorce is settled. It is happening. But now we need to figure out who gets the house and all of the assets. Jeffy, what do you think? I think that you take a chainsaw, you cut the house in half, and everything they own in half, so it's 50-50. Hmm, that's fair. I like it. I grant you both 50-50 of everything. Cut everything in half with a chainsaw. The boy too. Fucking what? Hell, I'll get the chainsaw. I'll hold him down. What now? Babble, bap, bap, babble. Beep, beep, beep. It's Amazon Prime. I got another package for you. Shine right here, Daddy. Shimmy. Daddy, is that jacket made out of South African leopard ass? What it look like? Beep. Mommy, is that jacket made out of Antarctic polar bear puss? It was shaved. It wasn't tortured. Okay, well, I got another case. Your friend Goodman hit a kid with his Lamborghini, so I gotta go try to save him. The kid? No. Oh, baby, let's put it in the safe. <laughs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Mr. Goodman, who is being accused of running over a child in his Lamborghini and driving away. The mother saw the Lamborghini hit him, so, mother, tell us what happened. <laughs> My boy was drawing with his chalk in the road, and this rich guy in a Lamborghini ran him over, and he didn't even try to stop! Mr. Goodman, is this awful accusation true? You didn't even try to stop? Well, Your Honor, I was getting roadhead from this 10 out of 10 baddie. I was in a throat trance, so I wasn't even paying attention while I was driving. Hmm, so you were distracted while driving and killed a little boy. Well, sounds like you're guilty. Unless your lawyer can get you out of this mess. Well, Your Honor, to be fair, you weren't fucking there. You didn't see what happened, and neither did I. The boy's mom could be lying. She probably wasn't even there. So how can you judge what happened if you weren't there? Hmm, that's true. I wasn't there. Everything could be a lie. Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't. Mr. Goodman, you are not guilty of vehicular manslaughter in Hit and Run. What? No! He killed my little boy! This is not justice! <laughs> Thank God! I'm gonna celebrate by getting more roadhead! Thank you, Jeffy. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Marvin, your son's a genius. He won my case. I got sucked off on the way here. I'm gonna get sucked off on the way home. Mr. Goodman, do they have any mouthwash? Get back in the car, chinchilla. Okay. And Marvin, I'm taking this 10,000 for your house payment this month. It doesn't matter. Jeffy, print money. He a money print machine. Beep. Well, buddy, I actually don't want to be a lawyer anymore. What, what do you mean, Jeffy? I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I don't like it. You don't like making cash green guap, cash green guapo? I don't like it. Marvin, if Jeffy doesn't want to be a lawyer, he doesn't have to be a lawyer anymore. Put the cash in the green in the bib. Marvin, we had enough. <sighs> babu, bap, bap, babu. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Jeffy collected all the Dragon Balls just for Brooklyn Guy to steal his wish. Will Jeffy get revenge? Does Brooklyn Guy have any powers at all? Let's find out. I'm gonna spirit bomb you! <laughs> oh yeah, not if I spirit bomb you first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, nothing's happening. Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed, aren't I? Baby duck! <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah, you kicked my ass. There you go, you can have your stupid outfit back. I'll be taking that. You really just wasted his wish on his stupid outfit just to give it back? Well, look, I thought by getting the outfit I'd get the powers too, but I guess it doesn't work like that. You just wasted a wish? We could have wished for a billion dollars or for Grand Theft Auto 6 to come out. Yeah, I know, I should have just wished for the powers. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll help you find the Dragon Balls. You'll help us find the Dragon Balls? Yeah, I'll go look for them, and if I find any, I'll bring them back here, and if you find any, you bring them back here too. Oh, uh, okay. All right, Danny, I'm gonna go look for some Dragon Balls. Oh, I hate this. Hmm, where are these Dragon Balls at? Oh, well, I need to get my power level up. I'm about to ride the F out of this ducky. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, daddy, yeah, oh yeah. Jeffy! Oh, hey, Junior. My name's not Junior anymore. It's Vegeta. Vagina? Why would you want to be called that? What? Well, no, no, not vagina, Vegeta. Oh, like the sizzling hot plates from chilies that come out like pssst. 
No, th those are fajitas. My name's Vegeta. Virginia or West Virginia? But not Virginia, Vegeta! Oh, vagina. What? No! Listen, where are the Dragon Balls at? Well, the only Dragon Balls are the Dragon Balls across your face. What? No! You're, not... You're gonna regret saying that. Yeah! yeah. Oh, vagina, what was that for? I want to kill you because if I get rid of you, I'll be the only one looking for the Dragon Balls. Well, you can't kill me because I'm more powerful than you. We'll see about that. Get it. Get it. You're going to make me go Super Syndrome. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you messed up now. Yeah. Any last words? You can't kill me. I'm the prince of all sayings. Oh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Now that he's gone, let's go find these dragon balls. Oh man, I can't wait to eat my Apple Jacks. Mommy, is that a dragon ball? Don't touch that dragon ball. It's mine. You'll never get my dragon ball, you monkey tail turd. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have to fight for this Dragon Ball! With pleasure! <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that hurt! Oh, I'm gonna go King Kami on your ass! Wait till I use my special bean cannon! Oh, watch me charge up! Uh... Oh, hell no! I'm gonna charge up my special PP cannon! <laughs> <laughs> Well, why are we fighting? Daddy, he took my Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball was in my cereal. But I want it! Oh, okay, wait. How much do you want for it? Three bucks. Ah, uh, three bucks. All right, look, there, there's three dollars. Take it. Ah, <laughs> sucker. Oh, I win. All right, Jeffy, go get your, your stupid Dragon Ball. I will. Finally, it's man. <laughs> I have returned after a long and treacherous journey through the depths of hell, conquering many adversaries and dodging many obstacles. I, Jeffy, have defeated the one they call Pinocchio, and I have obtained a single ball of the dragon. And none of this would have been possible if I didn't show great strength and power. I paid three dollars for this, Jeffy. And I thank you for that, Father, but I still need six more, so if you want to cough up some more change, we can get this ball rolling. Balloon tits. Well, Jeffy, isn't it your job to find it? But it's so hard, Daddy! Imagine dedicating your life to looking for balls. You have to eat, sleep, and breathe balls like a girl on OnlyFans. Look, Jeffy, just go find the other six ones. Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> we should have done Naruto. <sighs> How did I lose to Jeffy? No! The Saiyans of legend were an invincible warrior race, and I am their son! And at long last, I have risen to claim my birthright. I have stepped into the ranks of greatness. All my life, I have worked towards this goal. And for what? To be brushed aside as easily as a common house fly by an android? A true Saiyan would not have fallen. Maybe I'm not who I think I am. Perhaps there are still new plateaus for me to reach. Far greater heights for which I must ascend. Yes, I will ascend. The universe will marvel and the- Dude, what the hell are you doing talking to yourself in your room? Huh, go to sleep! Shut the hell up, weirdo! Sorry, Dad. Like I was saying, there might be new plateaus I can reach. The universe- Junior, if you're gonna keep on talking to yourself like a weirdo, take out that damn trash, boy! You know what, Dad? Get it good. Don't do that weird stuff in my house. Oh, take out that damn trash. I'm not gonna repeat myself again. Okay, Dad. Ugh, ugh, just looking for something to eat. What type of apple is this? Ow, that hurts my mouth. Ow, that still hurts my mouth. Oh, stupid Dad. Doesn't understand that I'm a Saiyan God. Hey, kid, you want to trade me something for this apple? <gasps> that's not an apple. That's a Dragon Ball. Give me that. No, you gotta trade me something for it. Uh, uh. How about I trade you this Gatta gun? Oh hell no! How about my Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? <laughs> no one can beat a Saiyan God like me. What are you thinking? I have a balloon. Well, can I have it? Stop! 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 Hitting me! 
Hey, you popped my balloon. Oh, and now you're going down. No one can beat me. Now give me that Dragon Ball. No, my apple. I've done it. I've gotten a Dragon Ball. Now, I must beat Jeffy to find me the other six Dragon Balls so I can wish to become the most powerful being in the universe. Not so fast, Vagina. Jeffy, what are you doing here? We're here to kick your ass, me and old Giraffe Tushy, and then we're gonna take that Dragon Ball. You're not getting this Dragon Ball unless you pry it from my cold, dead hands. Well, the dead part can be arranged. <laughs> you got me. He's so strong, but I'm stronger. You're no match for Giraffe Booty Hole. Come on, Giraffe, give me a big sink. Finally, I have two balls. Hey man, welcome to the Black Market Pawn Shop. What can I get you? Okay, well, uh, what I'm looking for is uh, pretty hard to find. Well, we are the Black Market Pawn Shop, so we have all kinds of sketchy shit. Just tell me what you're looking for and I'll tell you if we can accommodate you. Okay, well, uh, what I'm looking for is some balls. Whoa, man, no, 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 we're, we're not that kind of shop. We don't do that here. No, 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 not like that. Like, I, I, it's like these seven balls. What, I don't know what you're into, man, but you should probably get some help. No, not like that. Like, there's like, there's like seven balls and I just wanna like rub them and make a wish. Okay, I think I need to ask you to leave. No, it's like, they're like dragon balls. Like seven dragon balls? Oh, we don't have seven dragon balls. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time then. We do have five, though. Wait, wait, really? You have five Dragon Balls? Yeah, but you wanted seven, so sorry, we don't have that. Well, no, no, I'll take the five Dragon Balls, it's fine. I'll take whatever you can give me. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Like, you wanted seven Dragon Balls, but now you want five? That's kind of fishy. No, 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 really, I, I can go find the other two, it's fine. Just give me the five Dragon Balls. Huh, but you see why that's weird, right? Like, you wanted seven Dragon Balls, and now you're gonna settle for five? It's kind of like if you told me that you wanted a puzzle with seven pieces, and I told you I only had five, and you were fine with that, it's like... Like, you can't finish the puzzle, so so what's really going on? No, 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 look, it's up to me to finish the puzzle on my own, okay? Just just give me the Dragon Balls. Okay, fine, but uh, that's gonna be a hundred dollars. What? A hundred bucks? What? That is a ripoff! Oh, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna give you any money until you show me some balls. And so, some, some Dragon Balls, not Dolphin Balls. All right, fine. Here are the goods. Oh, they are so beautiful. Okay, here you go. Here's your stupid money, you scumbag. <sighs> it's Dragon Balls. Hey, Danny, look, I got two balls. <gasps> you got two balls, Jeffy? Yeah, Danny, the other one finally dropped. Oh, you're talking about these balls. Yeah, I got two Dragon Balls. Well, Jeffy, you only need five more, and then you get your wish. Hey, guys, I found five Dragon Balls. <gasps> you got five Dragon Balls? Well, I got two right here. That's great. That means we have all of them. Now we just got to put them together. Give me your two. No, you give me your five. No, give me your two. No, what if I give you my two, and then you steal my wish again? Look, bro, I'm not going to do that again. I got the two slots right here. Just give me those. No, you give me yours. <sighs> Look, I clearly learned my lesson last time. I'm not going to steal your wish again. Look, how about this? I, I swear on my mother's life, I won't steal your wish. Actually, you know what? I swear on my brother's life, too. And my wife's. My whole family. I swear on all their lives, I won't steal your wish again. Okay. <gasps> They're glowing! <gasps> the dragon's coming! Dragon come, dragon come, let's all make the dragon come. <laughs> hey, Blair! I'm Boofy the Dragon! And because you play with my balls, you get one wish! I wish I had superpowers! You get! Ha ha ha! Your wish is my command! <laughs> <sighs> I finally have superpowers! You stole Jeffy's wish again! Yes, I did, because I got five of the seven Dragon Balls, and I think it's only fair that I should get the wish! But, but, but you swore on your family's life! I don't care about my family, they can die for all I care, I have superpowers now! And that means I can finally kick your ass! So take this! Ugh. Ugh. You didn't do the Kamehameha thingy. Oh, yes, yes, you're right, thank you. Kamehameha! What, what the hell is that? What, 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 what the hell am I supposed to do with this little tiny baby laser? What, what, okay, what the hell was that about? You may have powers, but you're not powerful. Take this. Ha! Will Jeffy ever get his wish? Will Brooklyn Guy ever learn to use his powers? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. Hey guys! Ah! Billy, what are you doing here? I wanna play a game!
game. No, Billy, we don't want to play your games. Leave. Oh, come on, Marvin. It's just a really quick card game. It's called Find the Ace of Sp AIDS. I don't want to play your stupid card game. I see the AIDS needle right there. No, you don't. It's right there. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just put your hand in there and grab a random card. If I grab a random card, will you leave? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, what card should I grab? Oh, my God. He just stabbed me with the AIDS needle. You know have AIDS. Oh, my God. Call a doctor. Marvin, look the news. Breaking news, okay? The cure for AIDS has been found. Me and two other people are the reason. Let's go to our interview now. Ah, you scared me. Hello, it's me, Mr. Goodman. I'm here with Dr. Brooklyn T. Guy and his nurse Susan Smith. Dr. Guy here found the cure for AIDS with nurse Susan using the money I donated to fund the research. We did it, guys. No more AIDS. Woohoo! Oh my god, they have a cure. I'm saved. Marvin, we have to get you to the hospital. Let's go. What? They have a cure for AIDS? <laughs> No, my life is over. I'm nothing if I'm not giving random people AIDS. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get my revenge on that doctor and the nurse and that rich guy. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead! What, what, where the hell am I? I would like to play a game! Oh, Jesus, Billy, not you again. Oh, it's me again. So, you like curing AIDS, huh? Oh, that's what this is about? You're mad that I cured AIDS? Yeah, and since you like figuring out really hard stuff, I got a lot of really hard stuff for you to figure out. Oh, please, do tell. So... How's your day going? It's been pretty shitty. Oh, perfect! Because I'm about to make it shittier. That's great. So, you are currently strapped into an electric chair that is set to go off in two minutes! Two minutes, got it. So you see a spoon, yeah? Let's just say it's not a spoon for eating booty pebbles! Yeah, I didn't think it would be. So you're going to take this spoon and you're going to dig out your eyeball with it because I put a key behind your eye. And once you get the key, you're going to use it to unlock this saw to cut off your right hand. And once your right hand is cut clean off, I personally will give you the code to turn off the circuit breaker, to turn off the electric chair. Ready, set, go. No, 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 you stop that timer. I have questions, okay? What questions do you have? Okay, well, like, why do I have to do all this stuff? I mean, I feel like a normal person would only have one of these tasks. I feel like you had a lot of ideas, so you just did all of them. Because you pissed me off. Okay, but, like, I have only two minutes to, like, scoop my eye out with this spoon. I I'm gonna need at least five to work up the courage. Well, you only have a minute and 40 seconds now. No, 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 you're gonna stop that goddamn timer because you need to explain some things. <sighs> Fine. What do I need to explain? Okay, well, like, you didn't even tell me what I am supposed to scoop out. Okay, that's for you to figure out. No, 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 this is bullshit. You need to explain this. Okay, I guess I'll give you a hint then. Let's just say, I hope you pick the right one. Okay, my right eye, got it. Wait, 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 hold on. My right or your right? Right. Wait, no, no, you need to give me something more to go on than that. Okay, let's just say, lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't help at all. That's more confusing. I wish you hadn't even said that. Enough questions. Go. What? No, but like what? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go my right then because you're a trickster and you like jokes and that's the one you would pick. I don't know. Oh, Jesus, just shut up and let me do this. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay, I got the eye out, but I don't feel a fucking key, Billy! Where's the key, Billy? Well, I guess you didn't pick the right one. Oh, God damn it! I knew you were gonna pull something like this! So you tricked me with the Lefty Lucy thing! I thought you meant my left eye was loose and you're right! Well, I told you like three times it was your right eye! God damn it! Okay, okay, I'll do the other one! Just give me a minute, okay? I need a minute! Are you sure you want to take a minute? You're running out of time! Okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it! God damn it! Just... <laughs> Okay, I got the key out, but my eyes are all dangling and I look like a snail. Well, I really hope you're not as slow as a snail, because you only have one minute and four seconds left. Okay, okay, I'm gonna unlock it. I just... I can't see with my eyes like this. Oh, let me help you, buddy. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. Ooh, okay. Okay, guy, here we go. Okay, all you gotta do is cut your hand off and you're free. You're doing a great job. Hey, how much time do I have left? 
46 seconds. Okay, can you, can you give me another minute? This is gonna hurt really bad. No! I gave you a hand earlier when I helped you with the lock. Now it's your turn to give me your hand. Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, okay, I cut my hand off, Billy. What's the code? The code is zero. Zero. Hurry up! Zero! Like what the timer would be at if you didn't make it! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, zero, zero. I can't see with my eyes like this. You said it was three zeros! Yeah, it was three zeros. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, okay, I did it! Oh, man! You turned it off with one second left! Wait, why did I even have to turn it off? I could have just gotten up! Oops! Oh, by the way, the saw that you cut your right hand off with was covered in AIDS, so you now have AIDS! <laughs> okay, well, we cured AIDS, so that's not really a problem, but I guess I'll go put my eyes back in. Oh, man, baby, I'm so glad they were able to cure my AIDS. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Marvin. Hey, guys, you're never gonna believe where I just got back from. Brazil? No, not Brazil. Greece? Okay, you can stop guessing. Where'd you get back from? Well, you remember that creepy little clown from Saw Billy? Oh, yeah, we saw him earlier. <laughs> Yeah, well, I saw him, too, when he strapped me up in this contraption and I had to cut my hand off to get free. Well, you had to cut your hand off? Oh, my God! Yeah, oh, my God is right. I mean, luckily, I put it on ice, so I was able to reattach it, but look, it has no feeling at all anymore. And the worst part is I had to scoop both of my eyeballs out with a spoon. Wh why would you have to do that? He's really pissed off that I cured AIDS. Oh, well, I mean, at least you escaped, so that means he won't go after you again. Yeah, let's hope. I am kind of worried about my nurse, though. I don't think he'll go after her. I think he's only mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Someone help me! No one can hear you. Who are you? The name's Billy, and I would like to play a game. What game? You are currently chained to a wall with a bear trap behind your head. A bear trap? Now, now, now. I wouldn't move around too much. You might set off the bear trap. What do you want me to do? Oh, you like helping doctors cure AIDS. Well, I would like a little bit of help. You see, I have this sandwich that I wasn't able to finish earlier. I was wondering, will you help me finish the sandwich? Okay. Did I forget to mention that the sandwich is made from human meat? I can't eat that. I'm a vegetarian. Well, you better eat it in the next 60 seconds or else the bear trap will close on your head, exposing your brain. Ready, Sad. go. Okay, I'll try. Uh, oh, I can't do it. It's too disgusting. Oh, come on. The clock's ticking. Yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, you know what? How about I help you? Here, here, look. Here comes the airplane. Wait, wait. Can I, can I get some salt and pepper to mask the taste? Oh, let me check. Oh, I only have pepper. That's fine. Put it on. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, man, that is messed up. You sneezed on my sandwich! Man, now I gotta throw it away! What a waste! Oh, come on, answer! Answer! Mm, Susan's not answering her phone. I'm starting to get worried. I'm gonna go back to where Billy had me tied up and see if she's there. <gasps> what the fuck? Charles, help! I slept with a kinky bitch again and she left me tied up! Hey there! Oh my god, Charles, she's hideous! She's a drunk too! She wears too much makeup and too much eyeliner! She's got a parrot nose! She's one of those emo bitches! You know the words you say could really hurt! Listen, I'm sorry, but if I slept with you, I must have been drunk as fuck. Oh my god, we didn't have sex! Oh, thank god. Listen, I wanna play a game! Okay, listen, I'll only let you suck it if you put a bag on your head and you shut up. Listen, I said I wanna play a game! Since you like to fund the cure for AIDS so much, I want you to take this blowtorch and burn all your money. And if you do, I'll let you go. But if you don't, I'll cut your balls off with this machete. Cut them off. What? Yeah, I'll never hurt money. Go ahead and cut off my balls. Well, are you serious? Because I, I will literally let you go if you just burn this money. No, cut off my balls. If we had sex, then I definitely don't want balls on me anymore because I don't want the chlamydia to go any further. You know what? Screw this! <laughs> Well, as long as the money is safe. You know what? New game! You're gonna take this saw and cut off your legs. And if you don't do it within 60 seconds, the room will fill up with poison gas. And you'll die. <laughs> Charles! Help! She's a crazy bitch! I think I'm in love! What? 
What the? <gasps> Susan? Susan, does he have you trapped in here? What? What smells like poison gas? Oh, it's probably this poison gas machine. I should turn that off. Yeah, it's much better. Susan? <gasps> oh my god, Susan! She's fucked! Save me! Okay, okay! <sighs> hey guys, I'm back. <gasps> Did you find your nurse? Yeah, I found her, but her head was crushed in a bear trap. Oh my god! Yeah, and he cut Goodman's balls off. Which is good news for me, Marvin, because now I can't get hookers pregnant. You have to go catch Billy and arrest him. Well, that's the problem, Marvin. He's hard to catch. He's like a weasel. They made 10 movies. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. So all I can really say is hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because he's killing everybody out here. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Just when Jeffy finally got to use a wish and everything seemed peaceful, a mysterious figure emerged from the darkness. Is he friend or foe? Let's find out. So we're cool, right? Right, ma'am? We're cool? Right? We're cool? You got me and my wife killed. Yeah, but I died too, and hey look, we're all back to life now, so we're cool. But you didn't know you were gonna die. No, but everything worked out, so we're cool. But if you could go back in time and make that same deal, but you know you won't die, would you do it again? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. But that guy's dead, so I could never do that, so we're cool, right? Right? We're cool? I can tell by the look on your face that we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. I'm gonna leave. Jeffy, you gotta cut this Dragon Ball shit out. But Daddy, if I collect all the Dragon Balls, then I could wish to be the biggest super sandwich the world has ever seen. No, Jeffy, you don't have to look for any more Dragon Balls. Just cut it out because you got us killed last time. But I want my wish. No, Jeffy, you already used a wish. Well, I had to use it to wish you guys back alive. Now, if I get another wish, I could wish for infinite wishes. I mean, you could wish for infinite wishes. <laughs> Jiro Fingershits have finally completed the perfect android, the perfect tool for world domination, Android 19, which is way cooler and more successful than my last experiment, COVID-19, which I really thought was going to cure the flu, and boy was I wrong. That was a huge disaster. But anyway, Android 19 will show the world just how smart and sexy I am, and all of the women of the world would say, Dr. Fingershits, you are so smart and sexy, and they will want to rob my big, beautiful, and circumcised brain, especially the fat ones. I am a bit of a chubby chaser. I want to be able to grab any part of her and it feel like boobies. Don't judge me. Okay, now, Android 19, rise! Rise and go find me the sexiest, fattest woman to be my queen! Yes, master. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy, I think the smartest decision is to not chase those Dragon Balls anymore. Me. What the hell is that? Hey, what are you doing? Fat barrel chested woman acquired. Excuse me? You are coming with me. Hey you, get away from my mommy. Photon laser. <laughs> See Jeffy, that's why you have to cut this Dragon Ball shit out. There's a random robot in the house. Sciatic pain. What? Oh, my sciatic nerve. Ah. Uh, no one gets on my daddy's nerves except for me. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't it work? I am impervious to energy blasts. Photon laser. <laughs> now come with me, Tubby. No! Jeffy, go save her! Go save her right now! Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm too weak. No! Maybe go. you're right, Daddy. Maybe I should give up the Dragon Balls. No, don't give it up! Go get Rose and then give up! No, Daddy. He's too powerful. No, Jeffy, come on! You can fight him! Uh, I quit. You have yellow hair! Uh. Jeffy! My sciatic nerve, Jeffy, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Go get Rose! Oh, I'm so excited for my fat, beautiful queen! Master, I have brought you a fat, barrel-chested female as you requested. What is this? She is not fat! Thank you! Well, she is a little bit fat, but I want it big, obese, gigantic, like my 600-pound life! Well, she is a little barrel-chested, so I'll give you that. Hey! I'm sorry, Master, I have failed you. Yes, you have! And since you can't do your job right, I will take care of her myself! Come with me, not very fat lady! I'm a failure. I couldn't even save my own mom. I'm too weak. <sighs> What's going on, Jeff? You got your depressed hair on. My mom got kidnapped, and I'm too weak to save her. I'm giving up forever, Junior. Don't give up. You can get stronger. You can go save her. No, I can't. I'm a failure, and I'm never going to be strong enough again. Well, this is a guy I know. He can train you to be stronger. How? How? 
now, Junior! Well, all you have to do is bring him a cheesecake and he'll teach you how to get stronger. If I bring him a cheesecake, I'll be strong enough to save my mom? Yeah, I think so. Then let's bring him a cheesecake! I have to save my mom, Junior! Come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy, there's the cheesecake. Grab it. Okay. What are you losers doing in my kitchen? Oh, no! It's Chef Pee Pee! Uh, put that cheesecake back before I turn you into Miss Me. Oh, no, Jeffy, we're gonna have to fight him. I can't. I'm too weak. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. Oh, you're no match for my death fingers. <laughs> oh, thank God I beat him to it. I thought he had me. All right, let's go grab my phone off the couch and put my wig back on. And then we can go, go give the cheesecake to the guy. Okay. Oh, look, there's my phone. I'll get it. Well, Jeffy, how can you eat cheesecake at a time like this? Rose is kidnapped. You need to save her. Well, that's exactly why I need the cheesecake, so I can get stronger. No, cheesecake's not going to make you stronger. It's going to make you have diarrhea. Hopefully. What? Well, look, there's the news. Breaking news, McKay. A mad scientist has kidnapped a woman, and he has something he wants to tell the world. Let's go to that now. Be quiet. Hello, world! I am Dr. Jiro Finkelschitz, and my mustache is falling off, goddammit. What, please? I bet you're wondering why I'm on your television screen! Well, I will tell you. I want the Dragon Balls, and I will execute this not very fat lady every... Hold, hold, please. I will execute this not very fat lady in 24 hours if I do not get the Dragon Balls, and I will execute another not fat lady, whatever, if I don't get the Dragon Balls in another 24 hours. And if you're thinking about stopping me, don't, because I have this very scary robot who will kill you. Thank you very much. Oh no! That crazy scientist is gonna kill Rose! You have to get the Dragon Balls and give them to him! Or I could get the Dragon Balls and wish for Mommy to be safe, like she just poofs out of there like poof. poof or we can get the Dragon Balls and then go beat up that scientist and get Rose back and then we can use the Dragon Balls to wish for something cool like a spaceship. Or you guys can say screw it to the Dragon Balls and go beat up the scientist right now and get Rose back before he kills her. Well, I gotta go get strong first. I got your phone, didn't you? You better hurry, Jeffy! You better hurry! Look, Jeffy, there it is. There's the chamber. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Mr. Shrekami, um, Jeffy's mom, she got kidnapped. And we need to go save her because she'll be killed in 24 hours. So we were wondering if we could use your chamber to train. Do you even know what this chamber is? It's a hyperbolic time donkey chamber. Every hour spent in this chamber is equivalent to one day here on Earth. I know, and that's why we want to use it to train. Well, the only way I'm going to let you use my chamber Chamber is if you bring me the Sara Lee creamy cream cheesecake! Jeffy, hand it to him. Oh, there she is. The Sara Lee classic creamy cheese creamy cake smooth and creamy no artificial flavors cheesecake! I will now make love. You guys go ahead and go in the chamber and do whatever you have to do. Alright, Jeffy, you go in first and then after 12 hours you come out and let me go in. Yeah, strong as fuck. Whoa, Jeffy, you look so strong. My turn, my turn. Hold on there, donkey. Only one entry per cheesecake. So if you want to go into the chamber, you have to bring me a creamy, cream, cream cheesecake. But we only had one cheesecake. Well, then get the hell out of my swamp. Oh, I wanted to be strong, but at least you're strong now, Jeffy. Let's go. Fuck yeah, daddy. I'm ready to kick the shit out of somebody. Whoa, Jeffy, what happened to your hair? I put gel in it, and I also went super re-re too. <laughs> so you're strong enough to go save Rose? Yeah. Come on, Junior. Let's go kick some supernatural ass. There! I had to take your mouth because you were being so annoying with all of the please don't kill me and I don't want to die. Shut up! Well, now it has been 23 hours and 59 minutes, so in one minute, I can finally kill you! Hey, stop right there. Stay away from my mommy. You are too late, man who uses too much hairspray! It's actually hair gel. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill your mommy! No, you're not. Come on, Jeffy, let's kick his ass. It's pointless to even try! Android 19, kill them! Yes, master. Come on, Jeffy, I got this. It's just a stupid little robot. Sciatic pain. Wait, ah, my back! Oh my god, it hurts! I think. <laughs> You done did it now. I'm gonna power up my RPMs, my retards per minute. I already told you that your attacks are pointless. What? Yeah.
Yeah, I lost the Chromie, but I found it. <laughs> Me. Android 19, what the hell was that? He is too powerful, master. Well, do something, kill him! Critical malfunction, global self-destruct, happening in 10 seconds. Yes, you hear that? Global self-destruct, now you're in trouble. Wait, did you say global? He's going to blow up the entire world, do something, kill him! You fucking did it, fuckhead. Look at the year, take him, take him somewhere. I couldn't want any part of this. Instant transition. Oh my god, I'm a girl. Give me awards, woman of the year. Oh wait, wrong one. Instant transmission. <laughs> I brought us in space, so when you explode, you won't hurt anybody. <laughs> oh wait, what about me? Okay, here's your wife. Wait, Rose, you're back? But where's Jeffy? Oh, well, I got my ass kicked by the robot because he kicked me in the sciatic nerve. What, mine too, he hit me in the back. Is Jeffy okay? What, look, the news. Breaking news, McKay. A robot was going to self-destruct and destroy the entire world. But some guy named Jeffrey took the robot into space and sacrificed himself to save the world. But he is dead. Wait, Jeffy's dead? No! After a grueling battle where Jeffy rescued his mommy, he made the noble sacrifice to save the Earth, blowing himself up in the process. Will Marvin and Junior's sciatic nerves ever recover? Is Jeffy really dead? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. Officer Gary, get in here! Yes, sir? Gary, I was looking through your file and I found some troubling news. Oh, what's that, sir? Well, it seems you never finished the fifth grade. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you see, I grew up in Brooklyn, and then I moved away and I went to a different school, so I just went right into sixth grade instead of finishing fifth grade. Well, that's not good, guy! We can't have a police officer that never finished fifth grade! Sir, what does it matter if I never learned all my shapes or whatever? Guy, we're gonna need you to repeat the fifth grade! What? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous! This is like the plot of an Adam Sandler movie or something! Guy, either you go back to the fifth grade, or you turn in your badge! <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Hey, Karen. Boy, you're home early from work. Yeah, the chief says I can't be a cop anymore until I finish the fifth grade. You never finished the fifth grade, buddy? No. Well, how'd you graduate high school? I don't know, Karen. I don't understand it either, okay? I just have to go for one day to show him how smart I am. Oh, boy, Penelope's not gonna like this. I'll talk to her. Penelope, get in here. What do you want, Dad? Well, Penelope, your daddy never finished fifth grade, so I'm gonna be going to school with you tomorrow. But look, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be like best friends. We'll hold hands, and, and I'll protect you from all the bullies. This is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me! Huh. Well, I'm not worried. She'll love it by tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you're coming to school with me. This is so embarrassing. Hey, I don't like it either, Penelope, okay? But it's only for one day. I just have to go for long enough to prove that I'm smarter than a fifth grader without having to meet Jeff Foxworthy. Just don't acknowledge me, okay? Okay, but I don't know why you're so embarrassed of me. You know, your dad was actually pretty cool when he was in school. I'll have you know I could flick my boogers farther than anyone else in the class. That's disgusting! And, and guess what? I was the first one in my friend group to get his first kiss. I mean, it was with a dude, and it was on a dare, but he was a pretty good-looking dude. You know, I pulled hoes. I mean, they were guy hoes, but I still felt cool. Ugh. Oh, the bus is here. Just don't talk to me and don't sit next to me. Penelope. Ugh. Penelope, I don't see why I can't sit next to you. I'm your father. Oh, you must want to say bye to your daughter. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to school. Is that legal? It's court ordered, actually. All right, well, then go sit out. Really? I guess anybody can get on the bus. What, Dad? not to sit next to me! Well, I don't have anywhere else to sit, Penelope. I don't have any friends. Besides, this is like bonding time. No, it's not! What? Okay, who's the asshole? You wanna go? What? Uh, I mean, ne never mind, young king. Uh, Wakanda forever! What, Dad? Hey, look, it's my first day, and I, I don't want any trouble, okay? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, hey, would you like my lunch money? Oh, cool! Yeah, there you go, bro. Dog. <laughs> See, I'm already making friends. What are we gonna eat for lunch now? We can eat when we get home. Ugh. Yo, we are the Dr. Bus! Go! Yeah, we'll check this out. Dad, ew! You're lucky I don't have a booger. I'd be flicking up a storm. Dad, what are you doing? But I don't have a seat, Penelope. No, you can't sit here. Go sit up there. I don't want to sit by myself. I'll get lonely. Just go. Uh, uh, hey, homeboy, can I sit with you? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're all good, brother. Uh, okay. 
Ah, oh, this brings me back. Ooh, a pencil. But don't play with your pencil. Don't play with your pencil. Oh, and it's so cool, it's like a spaceship. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, 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 it's like a lightsaber. No, 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 take that, Darth Vader. No, 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 no. All right, Cross, before we get started today, we have a new student. Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? Oh, no, I'm a baseball player in the World Series. Bah, just hit that bitch out of the park. Home run, and the crowd goes wild. Dad, the teacher's calling you. Go up there. Hold on, Penelope, I gotta hit one more home run, and I win the World Series. Oh, uh, excuse me! The guy playing with his pencil! Stop playing with your pencil! Come up here! What if my wiener was this long? I mean, not very thick, but it's a pretty good size. Although it's too pointy. Uh, uh me? me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so embarrassing! Alright, everyone. This is the new student. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I, I'm a Brooklyn T guy. N no cap. Facts, you know? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Uh, you look like you're too old to be here. Well, well, I am, because you see, I never graduated elementary school, so they're making me do it again. So, you know, stay in school, kids. You know, keep keep off that TikTok, because I know you guys like TikTok, right? You, you seen that kid that does this? He's got, like, the backpack and he flosses. You guys have seen that, right? Or, or maybe you know this one. Uh, Charlie bit my finger. Ouch, Charlie. You, you, you remember that? I wonder what they are doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Penelope's dad, but uh, she doesn't want you to know that because she's she's embarrassed, you know, because she came out my nutsack. <laughs> Shit slaps my legs when I walk. <laughs> talking talking free balling. Anyway, don't make fun of Penelope too much. She just started her period. You know that that's that's when you bleed out of your gooch. I'm really glad us guys don't have to worry about that. The closest we have is when we eat too much Taco Bell and our butthole bleeds. Am I right? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I'm a cop. So, uh, but not right now, you know, so if anybody's got that Mary Jane, hit a brother up, you know, that, that devil's lettuce, that jazz cabbage, homeboy in the back knows what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough from you, go sit down. Oh, okay. So, Penelope, how'd I do? I hate my life! Oh, you teenage girls and your emotions, just wait till you grow up and have real problems. Hey, Penelope, I heard you just started your period. Ugh, I'm gonna die! No, you're not, it's only gonna bleed out for a few days, every month, for the rest of your life. Hey, do you wanna be friends? Oh, you're Penelope's dad, right? Yeah. I'll be your friend if you give me brownie points and smash your daughter one day. Hmm, you know, it took balls to say that to me. I like you. Hey, you want a lightsaber fight? Of course I want a lightsaber fight! Come on. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. 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 I can't believe this is my life! Alright, class, we have a spelling test today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper, and I'm gonna read off random words, and you have to spell them. Oh, shoot. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow some paper? You brought a backpack to school, but no paper? Hey, there's nothing in the backpack. I just brought it because it looked cool. I got it from smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Okay, teach, I'm ready for this spelling test. What's the first word gonna be? Cat? Dog? Something like that? The first word you gotta spell is possum. Pff, well, that's easy. Possum. P-O-S-S-U-M. Duh. Hey, Penelope, you spell it right? Turn around, Dad. Stop looking at my paper. Wait, Penelope, what the hell are you doing? Why'd you start it with an O? That's how you spell possum. No, it's not, Penelope. Is your brain okay? It starts with an O, Dad. It's pronounced possum, not a possum. It's not a French possum, Penelope. Stupid. All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pterodactyl. This is easy. Did you spell this one right, Penelope? Yes, Dad. What, Penelope, are you having a stroke or something? Pterodactyl does not start with a P. Possum starts with a P, and pterodactyl starts with a T. The P is silent. What, why would they do that, Penelope? Why would they have a secret P? What's the secret about? You're gonna fail this test. No, you're gonna fail this test, and then I'm gonna have to ground you. You're the worst! Learn to spell! All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pneumonia. I know how to spell pneumonia. I'm a doctor. Hey, Penelope, did you get this one right? Yes, Dad. Wait, Jesus, Penelope, what is with you and all these P's? The P is silent! Pneumonia does not start with a P. I know this. I'm a doctor. I don't see how. It starts with an N. It starts with a P. No, it doesn't. Cross, no talking while you're taking the test or you fail. No, no, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what have you been teaching my daughter? Because she thinks possum starts with an O, pterodactyl starts with a P, and pneumonia also starts with a P. But what is this? Because that's the correct way you spell those words. But really? No, 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 no. I, I have to check this out. Hold on. Let me just Google it real quick. Quick, but, but, oh, no shit. Huh, well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, look, I haven't had to spell things in a long time, okay? Well, thank you for giving everyone the answers. Anyway, Crass, we'll try another spelling test tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is a science experiment. Get going, Dad. Now I have to take another test tomorrow. Yeah, well, I I, I knew those were the answers the whole time. No, you didn't. Y yes, I did. I was just trying to let everybody know. You know, just, just help a brother out, right? Right, dog? You know? You know what I'm talking about. Hey, why are we making him sit in the back, huh? That's, that's messed up. There needs to be some changes around here. 
I, I got your back, bro. All right, Kras. For today's science experiment, I'm going to show you the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. In this bottle, I have vinegar, and in this balloon, I have baking soda. When I lift the balloon up, the baking soda will drop into the vinegar, causing a chemical reaction, and the gas will inflate the balloon. Allow me to demonstrate. that with my butthole. Huh, that's pretty neat. Hey Penelope, you wanna be my partner? Nope, I'm good. We're gonna be partners. All right, Chris, now I'm gonna come around and give you the tool so you can recreate this experiment. All right, Cody, flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Sploosh. Oh look, oh, look how big it's getting. Oh, that's hot. I, I am aroused. Oh boy. Okay, Jeffy, flip it. This shit's about to be crazy. <laughs> It's so crazy! Oh, oh, oh. oh, this looks so cool! Come on, Penelope, flip ours! Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here it goes. Let's do it. What? No, it's not. What is happening? What? Come on, man. Nothing's happening. What? What did you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just, it's not working. This is dumb. Why are we even doing this? This is stupid. Why are we going through all this trouble? We could just blow it up with our mouths. We have lungs for a reason. Does That's not the point, Dad! I don't care if it's the point. This is stupid. <sighs> Teacher, this is stupid. If something went wrong with your experiment, it's because you didn't follow directions. What? Didn't follow directions? What are you talking about? She lifted up the balloon, the little shit fell in the bottle, and then nothing happened. Come on, man. All right, Kraus. The next thing we're going to do is math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a math card, and whoever shouts out the correct answer first will get one Skittle. Now let's get started. Yes, something I'm finally good at. I'm good at math. Hey, Penelope, my math is about to be full of Skittles. All right, first question, nine minus six. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Three. Correct. Catch. Yep. Oh, that's good. What the hell? I, I didn't know we could just shout it out. I thought we were raising hands. Okay, I got the next one. All right, next question, nine plus 11. George Bush. Twin Towers. Inside job. Guys, shut up. The Pentagon is the most surveillance building in the world. You're telling me it only got seven frames of a blurry object hitting it? That's not the answer to the math problem. The gas station next door got the surveillance footage taken by the FBI. 18. 20. D -d 20. That is correct, Penelope. Ah. Mm. Damn it. I wanted a Skittle. All right. The next question is 9 plus 12. 21. 21. I said it first. No, I said it first. No, I said it first. I said it first. I said it first. <sighs> Good job, Penelope. Ah! Um, no, 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 no. I clearly said it first. Shut up, Dad! No, this teacher is discriminating against us. Me and my boy back there. Yeah, he hasn't given either one of us a skill. I think it's a skit problem. Start getting the math problems right and you'll get a skill. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. I'm about to come up there and take the whole damn bag of Skittles. I'd like to see you try. Okay, bet. I'm about to throw haymakers. Yo, dog, you gonna back me up? What? Let's get him. Come on. What's good, dog? You wanna go? Come on. I bet you won't do anything. Come on. Do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> Right in the eye. You guys see the teacher hit me? <laughs> hey Penelope, your dad's crying in front of the whole class. This is the most embarrassing day of my life. Well, guy, it looks like you found a loophole. We agreed to drop the charges on the teacher if he would pass you from the fifth grade. So congratulations, you passed the fifth grade. Yes, that's right, I'm a man, even though my eye hurts. But looking back over your file, I saw that you never graduated kindergarten either. Oh shit. Man, Marvin, thanks for inviting me over. You know, I don't really have that many friends, so it's really great to just have a boys' night. Can you take your drink off the table? I don't want it to spill. Oh yeah, sure, I will. Right after I make this shot. Okay, red ball in the corner pocket. Hey, Danny, what are you doing? <sighs> Marvin, get your kid. Jeffy, go away, we're trying to play pool. Can I play? No, we're having a boys' night. Well, I'm a boy. Well, we're having a big boys' night. I'm a big boy. Okay, then we're having a boys who have hair on their peepees night. Well, I got a bush like a porcupine. Well, okay, th th then we're having a boys who've had Vasectomy's night, huh? Huh? Have you, please? Jeffy, just go away. Well, what you trying to do? I am trying to hit the white ball and use it to knock the red ball into the pocket. Oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah? You think that's easy? Well, it's not. Not for a kid like you, but it's easy for me because I'm a professional. Check this out. Damn it! Damn it! I can't, I can't believe I did that! I mean, I had a perfect shot! <sighs> Breathe, just breathe, Brooklyn guy. That's what my therapist says. I have to breathe whenever I get into situations like this. 
and I have to drink. I can't believe you missed that. That was super easy. Oh, yeah? If you think it's so easy, why don't you do it? How about this? I'll give you 10 bucks if you can make that shot. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Hey, Danny, is this how I'm supposed to hold it? <laughs> Look at Stupid over here. He doesn't even know how to hold the stick. Jeffy, you're supposed to use the other side. I don't want to use the skinny side, Danny. The women prefer the big side. But, Jeffy, you're supposed no, to... No, no, no. Let him, let him do it like this. Let him look stupid. Go on, kid. Make the shot if it's so easy. All right, Jeffy. Look, you're supposed to hit this white ball to hit the red ball to go in here. All right, let me line it up. Mm. Well, ow, Jeffy, not me. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to hit the balls, stupid. Don't you know what balls look like? You should have two of them. All right, well, let me try again. Yeah, yeah try, Jeffy, try it again. All right, let me line it up. And... Oh man, I got all the balls in. I must not be that good at this game. No, are you kidding me? You're amazing. I've never seen anyone do that before. Well, Jeffy, how did you do that? I just hit the ball with my stick. Well, th 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 that's gotta be luck. I mean, th there's no way you could do that again. I can do it again. Really? D okay, well, let me set up the balls. I gotta see this. All right, the balls are set up. If you can knock them all in in one shot again, I'll give you a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? He's not gonna do it. <sighs> Jeffy, you got this? I got it, Daddy. Please. How is this possible? Like, is, is he some kind of pull shark? Did you know about this? Did you make me think he was bad at pull just so I bet money? I didn't know he was this good. Oh my god, we, we have a huge opportunity here. We could be rich. Well, how? Well, we could invite people over here to play pool against your son, right? And then we tell them that your son is bad at pool, so they bet money that they can beat him, and then he just goes ape shit and gets all the balls in like he just did, and then we just rake in all the cash. That's an amazing idea, but how are we gonna find people that want to verse Jeffy and pool? Oh, don't worry. Once I make it commercial, everyone's gonna want to play him. Oh, okay, then go make the commercial. Yeah, I will. Um, where's my hundred bucks? Oh, yeah, the hundred bucks here. Um, let go of it. It's all I have. <clears throat> Please. Well, we're gonna make more money back. Okay, I guess you're right. Jeff, you're so good at pool. I know. Get out of the way, the commercial's about to come on. Hey, I was watching that. Hey, I was watching that. Oh my God, you're married to this? Oh, the commercial's on. Hey there, do you suck at pool? Well, not as much as this kid. Say the thing. I suck. See, he sucks. I've been killing this kid at pool. I bet him a hundred bucks that I could beat him. Go ahead, Jeffy, it's your turn. Okay. See that? He just pocketed the eight ball. What an idiot. Pay up. Okay. Here you go. Look, just like that, I made a hundred bucks. Playing this kid in pool is like printing money. So if you think you can beat this kid and you got a lot of money to spend, come on down and play this kid in pool. I guarantee you'll win. Yay, I was in a commercial. Damn, I look good on TV. I mean, I know they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but I think it's to my wiener area. Marvin, what was that commercial all about? Oh my God, does she ever stop talking? Nag, 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 nag. Baby, look, Jeffy's really good at pool, so we made a commercial saying he's bad at pool, so people will come play him and bet a lot of money, and then Jeffy will beat him and we'll make a lot of money. So you're going to con people out of their money? Aren't they going to get angry? <laughs> Can you even understand what she's saying? Oh my god, you're so rude. Like that, I got nothing there. Baby, look, what we're doing is completely legal and we're just having fun. We're going to make a little bit of cash. Marvin, you're going to exploit our son. Do you want me to like do something about her? Because I know a guy. I mean, I can... Baby, look, look just, just don't pay attention. Just, just watch your TV. Look, we're going to go make some money. Okay, fine. Good luck finding your channel now. When are the people gonna show up? Don't worry, they'll be here. The commercial was perfect. People are gonna wanna play pool. Hey, Daddy, look at my blue balls. Why is one of them purple? Because I squeezed it too much. Jesus. Look, it's been over an hour. Yeah, you're right, it has been a while. But I mean, why wouldn't people show up? I mean, that commercial was pretty good. Uh, we didn't put the address. What? We didn't put the address in the commercial. People don't know where to go. Oh yeah, you didn't put the address in the commercial. No, we didn't. So now people are just driving around looking for pool. Well, go edit the commercial and put the address. Well, I can't do that. It already aired. Well, we'll air it again. Well, I already spent $5,000 to air it that one time. Why was it so expensive? Because it's during a football game on a Sunday. It's prime time. What are we going to do then? We got to make our money. Well, I mean, I guess we could just put a sign on your front door in case somebody drives by. What are the odds that someone drives by the house looking for pool? Oh, believe me, they're going to be speeding by. Go make a sign. Okay. There. Now people will know where to show up. Okay, good. Okay, now that the sign's up, all we have to do is sit here and wait for people to show up so we can make our money. Heck yeah. 
You know, sometimes I wish I could blink. My eyes are so dry. Mine too. <laughs> I told you that sign would work! Alright, what chump's ready to be destroyed and pulled? Be okay, guy? Jonathan, what are you doing here? Why are you wearing a towel? Well, I saw the sign for a pool tournament, and I'm really good at swimming, so I thought there might be some really hot babes here that would go skinny dipping with me. <gasps> Is your wife here? No, Jonathan, not that kind of pool. I meant like billiards, like the game. Well, I can play billiards. Oh, yeah? You have any money? Well, you know, but ooh, how about every time I miss a shot, I have to take off a piece of clothing? I'm really bad. No, Jonathan, get out of here. No. We're going to need a different sign. Yeah, it's really on there. There, now there won't be any confusion. Bingo! We got someone! Alright, who wants it? Hello! Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? What? Girl Scout cookies? What the? Get in here and get your ass kicked in pool! Excuse me, what? You heard me! Get in there! Are you gonna buy some cookies? Well, yeah, if you win! Now come on! Okay. So what are we doing? We're playing pool now. How much money you got? Um. Eight dollars. Eight dollars? How long you been selling cookies today? Eight hours? Eight hours? That's only a dollar an hour. Let's hope you're better at pool than you are selling cookies. You know what? We're wagering these cookies, too. All right, Jeffy, let her break. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? You hit the ball with the stick. Haven't you played pool before? Hurry up. I don't feel good about this. Oh, come on, man. This is how we make money. And cookies. She's just a little girl. No, 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 no. She knew what she was getting herself into when she rang the doorbell. She wanted this. I think she was just trying to sell cookies. No way, man. She saw the sign and she thought she could con us. She doesn't want us to know that she's secretly good at pool. She's trying to do the same thing we're doing. But we're smarter than that. That's why we're gonna win. Hurry up, punk! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That sucked! You even know how to play? No. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, she's trying to con us. All right, Jeffy, show her what you got. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, it's my boy right there. It's my boy. Are you eating the cookies? Yeah, I don't know we're going to win. All right, prepare to lose. You suck! Oh, what's this? I'm gonna have one of your cookies. Oh, your cookies are so good. Oh, 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 your eight dollars. Yes. So what happened? What happened? You lost. That's what happened. Go back to pool school, loser. Learn some new tricks. You can't con a conner. Yeah, get to step and get out of here. Walk of shame. Man, that felt good. What? That was wrong. Wrong? Come on, buddy. There's nothing wrong about this. Look, have a cookie. Make I, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to cook it. It tastes good, right? It's the taste of victory. Pfft, no. Yeah, I know. They kind of taste like shit. But look, we got eight dollars. You know, we just do that a few more times, we'll have like twenty bucks. Well, oh, who's that? Another chump. Who's ready to go broke? Hey there. Oh, uh, hey. Well, Goodman. You know this chump? Uh, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I run the Girl Scout Cookie Foundation, and two of my girls showed up with no money and no cookies, saying that they were robbed. <laughs> robbed, yeah, okay. You should tell your little con artist to get better at playing pool. Pardon me? Yeah, they came ringing our doorbell and saying they were the best pool players there were. And we showed them, didn't we, Marvin? Uh, but not really. So you guys were playing pool? Yeah, you good? I'm really good. <laughs> okay, well, put your money where your mouth is. Okay. All right, come on in. $100,000 that I win. Marvin, Marvin, we're gonna win $100,000. I don't think we should do this. What are you talking about? Your son's a god. Of course we're gonna win. Well, what if we don't win? We're not gonna lose. So where's your $100,000? Uh, we, we have $100,000, don't worry. Are you sure? Because all I see is $8 and a bag of my cookies. Well, that, that, that that's just chump change. Don't worry, we got it. We don't have $100,000. Shut up, he doesn't need to know that. So who wants to break? Oh, we do, we do, we want to break. Jeffy, come break. Let me show you how it's done. Woohoo! Yeah, go Jeffy! Alright, prepare to lose. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, get in the hole. That's your home, go in there. Hmm, one ball left. I call this pocket. No, 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 Marvin, we might lose. I just gotta line up my shot. Oh my God, Marvin, I think we're gonna lose. No, 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 he could miss this shot. It's a very long shot. I didn't know if Jeffy's balls go in. Because your stupid cookie crumbs affected the ball. Damn it, they're not even that good. And bingo was his name of. <laughs> fuck. So how much money did you make, Marvin? We lost $100,000. What? You don't have $100,000! Well, I didn't lose it. Brooklyn guy bet it, so he lost it. How's he gonna pay that back? I don't know. Hey, Danny, look. My head's a washing machine. Who's that? Hello? Hey. 
Say the thing! Hello, I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Would you like to buy some? Wait, why are you doing this? I gotta make back that $100,000 somehow. Please buy some cookies.
La vida es un río siempre fluyendo Con cada cambio seguimos creciendo A veces es calma, a veces tormenta En cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta Cambiando con la vida Como las hojas al viento Encontrando nuestro camino En cada momento, momento A través de las sesiones a través del tiempo, cambiando con la vida, en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad, de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad, con cada paso da. Give a gift from this side.